We have a Jefferson County teenager hit and killed by a speeding driver in downtown St. Louis. He is demanding change. Police say that driver sped through a red light downtown, killing this young woman right here, Sierra Ward, as she rode in the bed of a pickup truck. News Force Emma Hogue spoke with her family and has been checking in with city police all day about any safety changes. You just don't believe it. And it finally sets in and it's real. A 17 year old killed nearly a week before starting her senior year at DeSoto High School. Tonight, Sierra Ward's stepfather, Donnie Arnett, says her death was completely avoidable. It's just, it's senseless. You know, one person has changed so many lives right now. Ward was in a truck with friends at 10th and Washington early Monday morning when investigators say this Dodge Charger sped through a red light, crashing into their truck. Ward was killed and three others are hurt. We got the call from the Sheriff's Department, Jefferson County Sheriff's Department, um, about five o'clock Monday morning. And um, it's just been a whirlwind since. New video shows people on ATVs and in cars driving recklessly down Washington Avenue just hours before the crash. What witnesses call a nightly occurrence. Police wouldn't confirm, but Arnett says the 25 year old who hit and killed his stepdaughter says he was trying to escape after someone tried to rob him. Some young kids was getting ready to rob him, so he decided to take off and save his own life and kill my stepdaughter. Following recent violence downtown, including crashes and rapid gunfire. The city says it plans to block off streets and parking lots where people drive recklessly and loiter late at night. But Arnett worries the problem will move elsewhere. It's a start, it's a start, but uh, they'll just go somewhere else. They'll just go somewhere else and do it. You know, they did it on Broadway. They come up here, they'll do it here. They'll go back to Hall Street. That was News 4's Emma Hogue reporting. We're told city leaders have been in meetings all day discussing when and where to put additional barriers up. We'll pass along that new information to you as soon as we get it.